Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings and drawings for beginners and all levels. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a beautiful husky. Now this is the, the reference photo we're going to use. So the reference photo I put on my canvas and I'm going to show you how to transfer this to your canvas so we can get started painting. All right, good. Now we're going to add some fur, make it furry looking. So I'm just going to go with burnt umber and white, a little bit of blue. I'll show you now how I mix that. So all I did was I got my burnt umber, put that down first. Okay, so I put burnt umber and then I said a little bit of blue or a little bit of white and then white. Okay, so I get a nice, I try to, you know, decide what color I want. Looking at the reference photo, was, you might need a little bit more burnt umber. You know, so just adjust it as best you can. And then just take your chiseled edge and start pulling out some of these nice furry. So you got nice fur coming out here. Get that much done. comes back up this way a little bit. So use the chiseled edge, pick up more paint, chisel your brush by pulling your brush through the paint to get a chiseled edge like that, nice skinny edge like that. And then you can use that to pull out the fur. Good. I'm going to add a little bit of black and white to make kind of a grayish color. Because it looks like it's kind of gray plus, plus the burnt sienna. Make sure we get a nice chiseled edge. Get your chiseled edge. Keep going back and forth uh, on your palette to get that chiseled edge, all right? We're trying to get that nice furry look. There we go. I know it looks funny now, but you know, this is what you got to do in order to get get the furry look. Now we you have to go over it maybe several times in order to get it to look right. Chiseled edge. Chiseled edge, go back and get some more paint. Doesn't matter if the colors are exactly the same. They can be more blue at one point, they can be more whitish they could be more have a bit of burnt umber in them a bit of black but make sure the white is what's gonna you know bring the the values up okay you keep doing this chiseled edge and that will help look like fur you still have to go back and forth on your palette to get that chiseled edge because as you're doing this, it's going to flatten out on you when you're, you know, at some point. So there we go. See it? And you can see how the lines start to uh, thicken up. So that's when you need to go back in and get your chiseled edge again. It's 
facets. All you do is get that furry look first. We'll worry about, you know, once you start highlighting and adding more. I gotta go this way because I'm standing up and I'm <laughs> All right. So you can pull out or you can pull back in. Like I said, where I'm standing up, I gotta try and compensate for the, the way I'm standing. The loss of control. You can't control it as well when you're standing up. So I would suggest you sit down. There we go. So all we're doing right now is just trying to put it together, all right? I know it's hard, and but at least you can look at this and attempt it or just do it your own way or whatever you think, you know, just follow along and try to have some fun with it. Hopefully it's not too frustrating for you. This over here, that's the way the picture is. Okay, this is the way the picture is. It looks weird, but that's the way it is uh, in the reference photo. But you have to put a background on it, see? The background on the picture is actually white, right? You know? See? So let's continue on and layer, 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 layer. So just add a little bit more white to my paint, those colors I was talking about. And I'm just kind of adding a little more, a couple of layers to thicken it up a bit more. Like I said, whenever you're lay whenever you're painting, layering your paint, layering colors, it gives it a nice thick, I don't know, a heavy look, you know, like it's more finished look, I guess. Now if your chisel edges, you can also try a thin tip brush, right? See how much better that is on that side there. I'm not gonna worry about my black there because I'm gonna just want to get a furry look. That's better. I'm gonna do this here. I'm adding white to what I already did. And I'm just layering on top of what I did. But I don't try not to cover up everything that you did already. Try to keep some of that. Do some touch-ups as you go along, you know. See? Now we might have to go in and out of that a few times. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get this done. So we'll just do the, do the fur. See how it looks more furry the more layers you put on there? I'm 
I'm just short. I'm using short strokes. Chiseled edge, short strokes. Try to get that nice furry look. And my brush. Don't want to keep the chiseled edge. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. Short strokes. But see how it's that extra layer gives it a really nice thicker look. There has to be a better word now. <laughs> Just going back in and adding white to my brush, okay? To my dirty brush. I want it a bit lighter than what I already have there just to, to see if the fur is coming out nicely. I can go out and in. I can come up. Whatever works. Constantly going back and forth to get some paint and to chisel, chisel your brush. A little bit of curvy look to it. It's nice and furry looking there now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more burnt umber. And a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna go over it again. Get some shadows in, because you might lighten it up too much, but look at that. See how you get that extra, see? Just keep layering, layering, and layering. There's a little birdie outside my window. Trying to join in on the conversation. Right, so just take some burnt umber and just put it here and a little bit of blue. Mix them together. You can add white if you want to, or you can wait till you get that done. Get some more shadows in there. Right, see? So you can go back and forth with the colors, right? And that will give you try to get that edge nice there. like this up here I should leave that alone <laughs> you see something you like leave it alone kind of make short strokes and then I'm moving down separating from the top ones there there we go now more shadows and I'm going to layer it again with some lighter ones again so it's a process of back and forth all right and I'm going into the black on purpose that gives it um, and you might say well, why don't you just put on the dark first then the light I, I put some dark on, it wasn't dark, you know, I mean, that's there too. You can see the blues and the grays and the browns and, you know, so. It's almost too blue, isn't it? I'll add a little bit too much blue that time. Sorry. Blue is all right though. Look at that, my shadowy colors. See how nice that is here? So, you know, it's coming along. It takes a few of these uh, back and forth colors. I want it more shadow. If you're happy, if you do two or three layers and you're happy with it, you don't have to continue. Um, I just want to experiment right now to see, make sure I'm getting enough, enough shadows and things going on there. I want it. go and 
and then I'm going to layer again I'm gonna layer so I'm gonna layer probably I don't know you could do six or seven layers eight yeah you know, I don't think any more than four or five is not should be enough but it was not just continue and keep make doing layers try not to cover everything up underneath some background noise here which is kind of nice it's like nature isn't it dogs barking birds chirping cars going by peaceful it's peaceful now i'm going to go back to the white i'm not going to clean my brush i'm just going to add white to my brush chisel it out and go over that again without destroying everything all right I'm trying to get the lay of the, the fur the way the fur is going the uh, direction of the fur kind of like to make a little curvy you know like little curves Good. That more white again. A little more white again. Chisel your edge of your brush. You know, this is a good, uh, it's a good uh, exercise for long fur. That way, once you get happy with the way you got the fur done, then you can do any dog with long fur, really. And you might even come up with your own technique. See how I'm just shortening, I'm doing some short furs and then I, I drop down and see I just separate them. I don't want to do, like I find these here should have been probably, oops, I don't want that. Don't want that. Should be like some up here and then some down here. I'll come back to that one, I messed it up. Okay, so let's go with this. So short and then some long, uh, underneath it when you get it done. That makes it more look furry it's rather than the big long lines like that. A couple of short ones and then drop down. Kind of overlap them. Happy little dog. The happy little dog. I find that too straight over, but that's the way it looks in the picture, though. Hmm. Not sure. There we go. Well, anyway, we'll just leave it at that for now. And then, that edge there. And I'm gonna go into my black. So I'm clean my brush off, I've got some black. All right, so I'm chiseling the edge again. And what I'm doing is, I'm gonna bring some of that black to make it look furry. Bring it up here like this. Make it 
lacquer. some fur here like that and then we go in here in here one thing at a time I'm getting too far ahead of myself here now chisel edge pull out okay so black I know it's not exactly the same as the reference photo, but in order to make it look furry, you gotta kind of bring the black into the other fur. Chiseled edge. See how they, they go together and that way it makes it look like the fur is all you know, you see animal fur, I mean, they're all mixed in. And... Reload all the time. Reload and we go back and forth. Get some up here. All right, so make sure you reload and then you gotta go out here. Bit of work. It's a bit of work. Oops, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be like that. Uh, well, if I need to fix it, I'll fix it. It's got to clean it up there. Come on over here and see if I can. I know it's not exactly the same as the reference photo because it's a photograph. We're doing a painting. So we can do it whatever way we want, whatever it looks painting might look completely different than a, a reference photo but by the time you get the colors on they don't look exactly the same just use the corner of the brush for the small areas there the white goes into the black okay so I won't do that I'll leave that alone and I'll put some more I'll put some more of those back in so here here we can drag a few in if you want to just a little bit don't have to be a lot but just enough to make it look furry 
That's how you get that furry look. See all these little strokes and these little pointy edges? See those edges there? Like, see how, right? Times I don't even look at the reference photo because I want to. I want to. I want to do it. So what I think might look nice. But sometimes your brush won't do what you want it to do. So it's not always you. It's sometimes your brush. You got in your mind what you want to do, and then you take your brush, and this is what happens. You can't get it to do what you look. See, and. Well, it's all because I'm standing up, but uh, I'm just gonna, that's cute. Nothing wrong with that, sure. Add a few more strokes here. That little bit of fur there looks nice. Brings out the other one. Um, and over here, maybe, uh, here maybe. Cause I think it looks better when you got a little extra shadows going on there, right? It's nice. Now I'm gonna pick up some blue on my, on my dirty brush and some white. Some blue and some white. Get that color there. I'm just gonna go back into the fur here and that will give it some nice highlights, all right? so. If it's too light, go back in with more black. Add more black. Just gonna layer, layer, layer. Layer, layer, layer. If you don't want the blue, you don't have to. But it kind of gives it a nice little shine to it, you know? It kind of when you, whenever you use black, if you draw, if you're painting black dogs, black fur, uh, you can add this blue on top of the black, and you'll get that nice. It's, it's almost like the black has a has a, sh a shimmer to it, you know. much blue all you gotta do is add more black Probably go back in with some black there because I got a lot of it there. On this here. It's too much. Hang on, guys. I didn't have a chiseled edge enough. So I'm just going to go in pure black. So you go back and forth, fix it up. All right. And some of that blue over here. See, I make short strokes and I'm skipping over some. Hard to see that on the reference photo, but if you've seen a dog in real life, you see that the fur is all, you know. I'm gonna clean off my brush, go back into pure black. And just go add a little bit of black in between those. Just so it won't be too much. Pure black. I might want to wait for it to dry, or you can keep working while everything's wet. I 
You're working. You're working on a painting. It takes a lot of work. And that's why you need to, if you're selling them, you need to get your time, your materials. You know, look how furry that is. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. So now I'm going to, what am I going to do? Let's see. I'm gonna add white to my small round brush. At the tip here. Let's see if I can make some nice little bits of fur going up here. Going into the black. here just putting white on the very tip of my brush and try to get these little bits of white in here and give it kind of a furry look didn't blend them in at all. I'm just getting these little blobs of white. <laughs> Let them stick out. See what that looks like. If I don't like it at the end, I'll just go over it. But I kind of like it so far. Like I say, your brush. If your brush would just do what you want it to do, it would be so much easier. I do watch videos of other artists doing these and their brush just seems to work beautiful in it. And it's like, it's an old scruffy old brush that they got and, and it just works out perfect. Blows me away. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? All right, we got some over here and we got some over here. Kind of tapping at it a little bit and trying to get the, up into that black fur there. Yeah, tap at it, see if that works. Tap, 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 get, pull up a little bit into the fur there. Try to go with the, uh, I think what I need is a better brush. Let's see what I got here. I got tons and tons of brushes. Just can never seem to find the one I want to use. I have to try many brushes. And longer, a longer liner brush here now. Well, that seems to be working a bit better. Try different brushes. I thought you were happy. I thought you were happy, little fella. Maybe you don't like the way you got your eyes done.
I'm always reloading. Seems, seems like there's a shadow under here, so I'm going to have to a little bit of a little bit of black and blue, maybe. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Burnt umber would be nice, I think brownish color probably will be much better brown and white Let's see if that works out better seems to be good So it won't be too dark. It's kind of more of a grayish color, isn't it? Make a grayish color and so add some white to it. Let's see if that works. We got some little bits of hair going here, little bits of uh, add some white to that. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> That's hard. That's okay. Just look at us having fun, no matter what comes out like. Just have a bit of fun with it. and Because it's only a practice at first, and the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Looking at my reference photo here, just trying to see what what way the eyes are here. Yeah, it's coming to life. I'm gonna uh, clean up my brush there now. I'm gonna put black on, pure black on it, to see if I can get this eye here. This nice little bit of furry look by adding a few little pieces coming out like that. And going around that corner. Pull out to get that furry look. into the fur. There we go, it's better. And then we'll add some of those bluish highlights. Bring it out a little bit. Good, and we'll do the other eye. Some fur like that, just big little streaks like that. Okay. 
my brush just wanted to do something on its own that time. <laughs> Be good brush. And then we're going to bring it down here. And so I'm going to get some of that blue, bluish grayish color, a little bit of white to it. No, but it's not blue enough. Right. It's just to highlight it a bit to make it look furry. Maybe a little bit lighter. Blue and white. And a dirty brush that way you can pick up some of that bit of black and stuff that's there. Tiny little strokes. Tiny little strokes. too much. I'll go right back into my black. Just wipe off the brush a little bit and add some black. Like I said, it's back and forth, right? Back and forth. Now, 